Here's a 1969 Series 2A Land Rover. Differential guard underneath there. As you can see, all grade 8 hardware was used as well, zinc plated. The hood here. There's that Mountain Mansfield heater, all new wire harness, new starter solenoid, new coil. Little fuse block dealer is new, this intake hose is new on the uh, air intake. Brand new Weber carburetor. The motor it looks kind of dirty, it's, it looks a lot worse than it is, it cleans up pretty nice. And we were out kind of on, a, on dirt roads and whatnot. So it looks kind of crummy, but like I said, it cleans up pretty nice. It's a brand new version of the, uh, the high performance Rover's North motor. Uh, brand new distributor, starter, alternator, the whole works. So they ship you the, the whole deal. Uh, you've got the servo assisted braking system here. So you can see down the alternators, new, new fuel pump, everything. Everything is brand new on it. It's a good, tight, solid vehicle. Alright, here's the passenger side. So you can see the seat box and the floor pans. We'll pull this one out again and show you this side. Alright, this back drawer system that's in the vehicle, if you can see it here, it's completely lockable. You take the lock off and slide the lever. You can pull it out and it houses some of your off-road gear and tools and whatnot. You've got your funnel for your jerry can, extra set of gloves, spare solenoid for the 8500 pound super winch that's mounted to the front. Some ignition parts, some spare tie rod ends for your steering, U-joints, winch controller, 
Um, I always carry a couple extra tie straps. I've got a couple of recovery straps. There's always a handful of walkie-talkies. A spare drive shaft. Your 27mm uh, socket for your lug nuts along with your breaker bar. Um, a crafting tool kit just in case you really get into a pinch. Some jumper cables so you can jump whoever else is out there. And even a little spot for the hand crank starter which I've used a couple times just to impress people. Kind of a fun little little prop. Now the drawer is completely removable too so if you don't want it in the vehicle you can always take it out. And I do have the spare seats for the back side here. They are the station wagon seating. So they're two galvanized seat bases with the bench seats and you can take this drawer out with just a couple screws actually it's pretty simple. I'll show you the rear jerry can that's mounted to the door and then I'll lock this back portion of the vehicle up. All of the uh, wheels and tires are all matching, even the spare. They're brand new, the NATO style black wheels, the original series wheels, they're 16 inch. On the front here, there's an 8,500 pound super winch mounted up, which uh, this truck doesn't get stuck, but you can pull all of your friends out anyway. Little shovel mounted on the fender there. Pretty tidy, decent shape. There are a couple dings and dents here and there, but nothing too major. You know, for the perfectionist, they'd probably fix it. I thought that was kind of neat to leave them on there, just for give it a little character. Well, that's it. That's the 1969 Series 2A Land Rover.